Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve this problem 4.44 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So the question is solve problem 4.13 using the mass current method. So we are asked to solve for this for V1 and V2 but not use not voltage analysis but use mass current. Okay then. Okay now maybe let's draw the loops here. We know this loop has 6 ampere and this loop has 1 ampere so we only need to draw this loop here so we will name this as loop i1 and then this part here is loop i2 and for that loop there we know the value here is 6 ampere so the current here is 6 ampere and then this current here is 1 ampere right and I think we are set to go but we need to take a note first what is v1 and v2 because the the result that we get from i1 and i2 will be in current but we are asked about voltage so v1 here what is v1 v1 remember the ohm's law is the voltage is equal to the current multiplied by the resistance and the current that passed through this v1 is 6 minus i1 so i will have 6 minus i1 then multiplied by the value of this resistor which is 40 so i'll have this one and what is v2 v2 similarly the current is i2 minus 1 so i will have i2 minus 1 then multiplied by the value of the resistor so i will have multiplied by 120 so now we need to we only need to find out i1 and i2 okay now let's start from i1 and let's start from using kvl at loop i1 okay kvl said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero so it's like this and let's start from this 40 ohm and that 40 is a resistance so we need to multiply it by the current and we are working on i1 now so i1 came first but then here 6 ampere is flowing to the opposite direction so i will have minus 6 okay and now let's move on to that 8 so i will have Eight, and the only current that pass through it is I1 so I will have I1 and then plus I will have 80 here and again we are working on I1 here so I1 came first but then I2 is flowing to the opposite direction so I will have minus I2 and all of that will equal to 0 okay now maybe let's distribute this so I will have 40 I1 and then minus 240 then plus 8i1 and then plus 80i1 and then minus 80i2 all of that will equal to 0 and i will have for i1 this and this will equal to 120 and i will have 128i1 And then I2 is here, so I will have minus 80 I2. And let's move this 240 to the right hand side. So I'll have 240. I think nothing that we can do further here. So let's save this as equation number one. Now let's do another KVL, but this time at loop I2. KVL at I2. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to 0. Let's start from this AT here. So I will have AT. And now we are working on I2. So I2 came first. I2 always came first when we are working with I2. But here I1 is flowing to the opposite direction of I2. I2 is flowing up. I1 is flowing down. right? So I will have minus I1. And then the other components, this has no component, 
this one here and I will have 120 there. Again, I2 always came first, but here 1 ampere flowing to the opposite direction. So I'll have minus. All of that will equal to 0. Okay, now let's distribute this. So I will have AT I2 minus AT I1 and then plus 120 I2 and then 120 multiplied by 1 so i'll have minus 120 all of that will equal to 0 now i will have minus 80 i1 and then plus 200 i2 and let's move this minus 120 to the right hand side so we'll have 120 let's save that as equation number 2 Good. Okay, now we have two equations with two variables. We should be able to solve that. So I will have solve 1 and 2. You can use uh, any method uh, like substitution or elimination, but the fastest way to do it is by just using calculator. So let's use that. So I will have equation solver, which is number 5, and two variables is number 1. And let's plug in the coefficient. So I'll have 128, and then minus 80, and then 240. Good. And then I will have minus 80, and then 200. And then on the right hand side, I will have 120. Okay, the x value, which is I1, is 3. So I will have I1 is equal to 3 ampere. Good number. And then what is I2? I2 is 1.8. So I will have 1.8 ampere. And then from here, we can find out P1 and P2. Okay, now plug the currents to get the voltage. So I will have V1. V1 is, remember this, so I will have 6 minus I1, which is 3, and then multiplied by 40. 3 multiplied by 40, so I will have V1 is 120 the unit is volt here and this is the answer for p1 and now what else we can find out p2 what is p2 p2 is i2 minus 1 multiplied by 120 okay i2 is 1.8 so i'll have 1.8 and then minus 1 and then multiplied by 120 so we will have V2 is 0 0.8 multiplied by 120 and I think I will have 96 volt. And I think that's all for this problem. Hopefully I did not make any mistakes for this calculation. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.